Welcome to the very first holiday season of The Story. Season five features eight stories of trailblazers paired with the beginnings of some of the most famous winter holidays ever. Season five of The Story is brought to you exclusively by Salesforce, the world's number one customer relationship management platform. More than 150,000 businesses are using Salesforce to blaze their own trails to success. The Story is created by our team at mission.org, a media company and podcast network. Enjoy. Welcome everyone to the last after show of the holiday season for the story. We're so happy to have you here. We've got Chad Grills joined with myself, Stephanie Postles here, and we are talking about today two special episodes. One is called You'll Need a Miracle, which I hope you guys loved, and the second is Chasing Your Legacy, which I was a little, Chad, uncertain if this was a Christmas holiday or a, a winter holiday, but you it's and definitely Ian, a winter holiday. you convinced me, so I'll let you start. <laughs> So first of all, the first story is about Christmas time yes. and Christmas is near and dear to uh, us and many of our listeners. And the second one though, maybe caught you by surprise. We weren't expecting to see the Super Bowl on our list of winter holidays, but just in terms of people getting together, families taking time out of their day to come together, make food, enjoy each other's company. And uh, yeah, just have that shared yearly ritual of watching simulated combat is something that a lot of us like to do in the wintertime. And I also really did like the story behind, was it Vince Lombardi? Is that, yeah. that his name? Yeah. I love the story behind him. I had, I mean, I don't obviously, you know, I don't watch football, so I didn't know too much about like the Super Bowl and the ring and all that kind of stuff. Big but leadership the, lessons. Yeah, yeah. So many leadership lessons. Does he have a book? I would definitely read uh, it. I'm sure that he does. So. Yeah. Okay. I, I, I would bet that he does. And if he doesn't, then someone's written uh a biography about him. So. Yeah, but I thought that was really inspiring just how he thought about things and, you know, thinking really, but well, the one message I got was that he thought really long term and he did something that he probably knew was going to impact people for years afterwards. So he had to get it right. He had to make sure the words on the ring were perfect. He had to make sure, you know, that the the whole mentality behind the holiday, as you say, was correct and kept going for a long time. So I love that and just thought it really inspired long term thinking for me. Yeah, and I think that Vince's legacy is one of preparation. And when you prepare, again, to take it back to what we were talking before, it's one more way to put the nail in the coffin of anxiety and ensure that 2019 is a year that's filled with joy. And it's easy to think that the year can only be as good as what we imagine, but when we take time to properly prepare, learn and teach ourselves and teach others, and then kick off the the mindset that worry is preposterous, you have no idea what you can achieve. And 2019 can, it sounds cheesy, but it can be your best year yet. And if you get things really right, if you get a little bit lucky, get the right team around you, it might even be able to become something better than you can even imagine right now. Yep. Love that. I do feel like, um, I feel bad for Ian. I know he would probably love to be here talking about the Super Bowl episode because of his whole, what, fantasy football thing being, Yeah, you shout know. out to Ian. So <laughs> Ian is uh, making some serious moves in fantasy football and the fantasy football world. So I don't know if anyone has ever had such a good fantasy football team. Uh, I want to say that he's probably number one in the U.S. right now, if not um, the, the, the national fantasy football leagues. So Ian, just uh, if you're listening to this, we're going to start taking your fantasy football skills to the crypto prediction markets. We'll talk more about that when you get back. Yep, so. we'll see you soon. Oh my gosh, he's gonna <laughs> he's gonna hate us for that. Anyways, all right, let's move on to the Christmas episode. So fun knowing about the, I did not know the story about, you know, him wanting, like you, you knew bits and pieces of him wanting the gun and like he ended up getting it and, and, you know, things like that. But I didn't know that everyone said no. And then he went to Santa and Santa like basically said, sorry, kid, you can't have it. And shoved him with his boot back down this little, whatever it yeah, is, a slide. It's uh, <laughs> Ralphie didn't have an easy go of it. And a lot of us feel that way sometimes when we're in life going after what we want and we're continually told no, no, no. And when we get to that one person that we had held out hope might be able to help us, sometimes they put a boot in our face and send us back down the slide. And at the bottom of the slide, it's important to remember that got to hold out hope because oftentimes a miracle is what actually happens. And I mean, everything around us statistically shouldn't be here. It's the result of miracle after a miracle and having faith in the next miracle is sometimes all you can do. Sometimes that's all you have. That's the only thing you can generate energy from to keep going. And in the Christmas time and the, the Christmas uh, spirit is all about that is betting and believing in the impossible. 
Yep. And I also think that's such a good reminder too. Once it gets, you know, midway through January and people go from having this really big high, maybe from like the first two weeks to then being like, man, I didn't like do something or I got a no or someone shoved that, you know, proverbial boot in my face. And then it's just kind of downhill for like a month or two. I mean, I at least look back and be like, there's been times when I've kind of lost, I lost my mojo for a month or two. And I, you know, I shouldn't have done that. That was a whole waste of like two months. That's what the Super Bowl's for, to really (laughs) uh, celebrate (laughs) and uh, party it up and then have one more, yeah, round of incredible food and get togethers to soften the blow of moving into the winter and into the new year. I think one of the cool things about living in California is that the, you know, we're familiar with really cold winters from Maryland and then my family from Ohio and then the United Kingdom before that, not, you know, pretty cold winters. And now that we're out in California, uh, I don't know if we're getting soft, but we are really enjoying the lack of uh, snow out here. So. Yeah, we went up to Washington and it snowed barely at all. And you were like, brr, it's cold. And I'm like, oh my gosh, if you would have said this when we were back in Maryland, it was, you know, right at the 32 degree mark, probably not super cold, but yeah, we have gotten soft. I wasn't used to the uh, the cold, that's for sure. <laughs> Yep. And this was a fun reminder too when we did the Christmas episode for everyone out there to think back to their favorite Christmases. So not every Christmas maybe is one that you want to remember, but if you do have any, I think it's important to go back and relive those memories as often as possible in preparation for the new season because oftentimes the best way to make the upcoming Christmas holiday and Christmas Eve and Christmas Day incredible is to remember the best ones that have come before. Yep. And have thanks for everyone that, you know, you're joining this holiday season and really thinking about what each person has done to impact your life and why you're so lucky to have, you know, whoever you have surrounding you and lucky to be you as well. Yeah. Because before you go see them, before you hug and think, you know, meet up with your friends and family, I think that revisiting that in your mind of all the best times, all the best things they said is so important to do because we're hardwired to gravitate towards the negative and remember the bad, remember the challenging things, remember the slights and all the the pettiness. And the holidays are a great time to drop that and go into you know, that season, that Christmas Eve and Christmas Day with a completely fresh mindset or maybe one that just remembers the best of the best. I agree, love it. So we hope you guys have an amazing holiday season, whatever you celebrate. We hope you enjoyed this season of the story featuring all the holiday fun, and we will see you next time. Happy holidays, Merry Christmas, and have a wonderful holiday season. Thanks again to Salesforce for sponsoring this season of the story. The story is created by The Mission, your number one source for accelerated learning. We send out a daily newsletter, operate a network of podcasts and shows, and our brand studio creates sponsorships that drive results for world-class companies like Salesforce. Subscribe and learn more at mission.org.